Let me tell you how to tune the wooden pipe street organ quickly and precisely. I will explain this on my model Yankee Doodle 20, for example. However, the procedure will help you to tune practically any street organ. First, make sure you have easy access to the pipes. In the latest Yankee Doodle models, the organ action may be easily removed from the decorative outer box. In other cases, you may just open some outer panels and then you will be able to reach any of the pipes. Before starting the procedure of tuning, I would like to explain some of major parts of the organ pipes. The wooden organ pipe is a long rectangular tube of definite length, which is closed at one or both sides. At the bottom, the pipe is closed with a piece of wood called the block. At the front of the block is covered with a face. There is a narrow gap between block and face from where the pressurized air comes out to the mouth, which is a small open window above the block and face. Pay an attention that the pipe doesn't speak when you block the mouse with your finger. We will use this circumstance later. The other end of the pipe is most in most models is closed with a stopper. With the help of the handle, you can slide the stopper inside the pipe, pulling it up or pushing down. To lower the pitch of the pipe, you must pull the stopper up towards the open side. To raise the pitch, push the stopper down towards the block. To tune the street organ, you will need a chromatic electronic tuner and test roll, which is included with any Yankee Doodle 20 organ. The test roll begins with a row of perforation, which opens sequentially every hole in the tracker bar inside the pressure box or in other words, makes the given pipe sound. The test roll is marked by number and note F of each hole or pipe. If not, you may mark it yourself. If you don't have a test roll, you may successfully use blue paper masking tape to close all the holes except the one you need to be open for tuning the given, the, uh, given pipe. Please check the pipe's layout. In the Yankee Doodle 20, all pipes are arranged in three groups. The three base pipes are usually on the top of the organ, sometimes on the bottom. The longest or biggest pipe is number 1, F. The smallest is number 3, C. The highest speaking pipes 18, 19 and 20 are in the upper center and the smallest is number 20, D. All other pipes are at the lower front with the even pipes numbers on the left and odd on the right. So counting from the left to right, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, and 5. Before tuning, inspect all gaps. If any pipe sounds poor or doesn't sound at all, the most common problem is that there may be a small debris stuck in the gap. Clean it very gently. Place the organ at the table with right or left side towards you. Now you will be able to turn the crank with one hand and tune the pipe with another hand. Suppose you want to tune the pipe number 11, C. Install the test roll and place the perforation number 11 in front of the corresponding hole of the tracker bar. Close and lock the door to the pressure box. In the rewind mode, turn the crank. Pipe will start to speak. 
Slide your other hand's finger along the row of the pipe's mouth. You will find the pipe number 11 immediately as soon as you cover its mouth. The pipe will stop sounding. Now hold the stopper handle of this pipe and look to the screen of the tuner. Move the stopper with the smallest movement up or down until the pitch is shown until the pitch as shown on the chromatic tuner of the pipe becomes correct. The needed note is indicated on the screen and the arrow is in the central vertical position. Note the tuner indicates A sharp as B flat, which is alternative name for the same note, as well as D sharp and E flat.